Hello, the video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Good morning everybody. Now it is on mornings like this that you really need to cuddle a baby. <laughs> I'm feeling really unglamorous today. My hair is like, it doesn't want to do anything for me. My face is all puffy. My eyes look like currants in the snow. Well, that's not what they look like, but I'm giving you the polite version. <laughs> um, and I'm not feeling at my best. It's just one of those days when it's, it's freezing cold and it's raining and it's horrible. And on days like this, I need to cuddle a baby <laughs> and I have got, do you know, he hasn't been on here for a month. I was checking because I have so many of them. Um, and this is our darling little Luke. And he is such a sweetie pie. This is the Bonnie Brown Levi sculpt. And he's just such a precious little boy. Um, I was actually talking to somebody on Facebook last night who was asking me a few questions about reborns because she's thinking about getting a new one. And I was talking to her about this particular sculpt. And he's only like 18 inches long, but he feels bigger because he's so chunky and so lovely. And he curls up against you so beautifully when you cuddle him. In fact, before I change him, just let me show you. Turn, turn this way so that mummy can cuddle you. Look at the way he, there you go, sweetheart. Look at the way he curls up against you so beautifully. He looks so natural and so good. And he feels so incredible when he curls up against you. He's just one of the best cuddle babies I have. And he feels so soft and so squeaky. Don't you? Yes, you do. And we'll put him back on the boppy. There you go. There you go. We lean against mummy. That's right. So I'm going to give him a quick change. Um, because he's so small, I like to just dress him in cosy sleepers. He probably could wear outfits, but I like to see him in just warm, snuggly, cosy sleepers. I'm going to have to have that blanket off you. Yeah. He says, mummy, just get on with it. I'm trying to sleep here. I, I do love sleepers with Peter Pan collars. You're not going to like it. I'm going to have to turn you over because the buttons are at the back. Come this way. Come this way. Oh, there you go. That's right. Lean against Mummy's shoulder. And show your cute little tush to the world. So what kind of weekend did you have? Was it a nice one? We had a nice one. Um, quite relaxed. Oh, well, actually, I said quite relaxed. We were busy with a video project that we'll be doing for someone else on Saturday. It was quite intensive, but it got done. Sort of, it was late afternoon by the time we had it ready. I turn this way. There's a boy, turn this way. Spin around, that's a boy. And then uh, Sunday, uh, we were getting Jack and Lacey's video up and then I had my radio work to do, but it was nice kind of steady things that needed to get done and it felt relaxed even though we were doing things. Can I give you that? You can do with a wash, it's been a little while. There we go. Um, so it was all cool. Now look, this is his clean sleeper. I love this one. It is um, white and it has all stars over it in black and silver. And it's a really pretty little sleeper. There we go. Let's get that off there. And we'll open it just so far, but not too far, I think, because I do not need to be able to fight, be fighting with poppers today. Crotch poppers. <laughs> so yes, um, it was a it was a nice weekend and. I'm sorry it's Monday because Mr. B is not here. You can hear there's no clicking, no kind of background hum of fan, computer fan noise, unless it's my computer. 
Uh, actually, Mr. Beast's computer is noisier than mine because it's powerful than mine. Powerfuler. What kind of word is that? <laughs> more powerful than mine, so you can kind of hear it more. There we go. There we go. Let's have your feet in. Let's have your feet in. What a good boy. What a good boy. Let's lift this up at the back of you. How's it Oh, this is going to fit him really nicely. You can just tell. There we go. Let's have your armpits in. Let's have your armpits in. I think he's going to be a bit long in the arms for him, but we will. He's good. There's one thing he does have quite short arms, but we'll have the sleeves up itty bitty bit if we need to. I'm in. Good boy. And this one. What are you doing? Okay. There we go. Whoops, careful of your head. And of course, um, Luke is a precious baby and baby. I just love Jilly's work. Precious baby and babies are fan dabby dozy. That dates me. <laughs> weekend your head's tilting back again just you're doing it personally to annoy me <laughs> and the last one. Oh no I think those arms are okay actually a bit kind of I don't really want to roll the sleeves up we'll just pull them back and that fits him beautifully as I said he's a little fella but he does fit into small newborn sleepers and he's he looks so cute in that doesn't he Rhea? he does he looks like just ready for so many snuggles <laughs> do you want your blanket back yes of course you want your blanket back there you go darling there you go there you go i know that doesn't match now but it he can't not have his blanket he loves his blanket and his little ducky head there you are Oh, he's so cute. Look at that little left hand. I love his left hand with the little open fingers. Now, that's where you'll be expecting me to end, but not today because I have something I want to show you. I, we got the coolest toy, uh, not a toy toy, but a, a grown-up toy over the weekend. And I just thought you might like to see it. These things, they look like, this is like a sunglasses case, doesn't it? So let me open it and show you. And these indeed are sunglasses. There you are, see? But, centred between the glasses, there is a little tiny camera lens. And just down here under the frame, under the arm, is a little button. And also along this arm, there is a little dust cover which shelters a micro USB connection and what this basically means is that if one of us were to put these on our head and press this little button it would start recording video footage or you can also use it to take still photographs with. Uh, now there are quite a lot of these camera glasses around. Um, there are cheap ones which I've been told aren't very good and there are more expensive ones which are better and there are quite a lot expensive ones which these are um, you get what you pay for in this world and the ones we have are called bear grills funnily enough you can get them on amazon um and obviously they won't ever replace rear because i th i think nobody can replace being able to see what you're filming and you know having a camera in front of you and you know, a sighted person making a video is always going to be the best. So nobody can replace our rear. But what it will help with is if we're out somewhere, like out with Jack and Lacey or on a holiday or somewhere that, you know, we don't actually happen to have rear, if I can learn, I will have, a, it will be a learning curve. 
because obviously I can't see what I'm shooting at and I will have to learn to not wobble my head to make sure that things are in shot. It's a learning, going to be a learning curve. But I think with practice, it means that we can get footage of things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to. And the other thing which is cool is that if I am taking footage of Jack and Lacey, I won't have to worry about keeping them so that my face is sheltered by them sitting on my lap, because at the moment that's what I have to do. Otherwise, you'll be able to see my mouth when I'm doing Lacey's voice. Don't oh, see that one, I just always... And it, it, it looks wrong, obviously. We really have to be dead careful that you can't see my face behind their heads, otherwise it looks totally wrong. But if I'm behind the camera, obviously you can't see me. So I can actually have a greater freedom as to where I sit them and what I do with them, as long as I make sure they're in shot. So it means we can get, hopefully get some footage of them when we're on holiday and things like that. So you never know. It might be a, an extra tool to have in our arsenal, let's say. And they do look very cool things, don't they, Ray? They do look really cool. <laughs> so just thought I'd let you see that, um, just for a bit of um, fun and interest. But we'll just concentrate on our little boy for a minute because he does look so cute. And I will be back tomorrow. Mr B is away again tomorrow, so I don't know who I'll have with me. But come back and join me again tomorrow. And in the meantime, you go to say goodbye. Oh, he's giving you a little wave, even though he's deep in dreamland. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. And let's be good to each other. Bye-bye.